I'm Clay Morris, editor-in-chief of Folks War Magazine, and this is what I'd wear this week. I <gasps> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So I like to start my Mondays really strong. So I think this look from Saint Laurent Spring Summer 2023, the new menswear show, is perfect. You just made that up. Now, would you be hot in this North Carolina weather? Yes. But it's Monday, so you need the epaulets, you need the wrap of the coat to give you the push, the strength, because you know, it's Sunday with college kids, you may still be reeling from your Saturday, maybe even your Thursday, no judgment. But I think something like this would give you the right vibe, give you the right energy, um, and also maybe intimidate people. So challenging other people on their Monday is a way to make your Monday better, I think. So I definitely go with this. Now, I don't know why this person's hair has slipped back so hard in the picture. Maybe work on that. The shoe is also a little bit questionable, but overall, this is a great way to start the week, um, and, I don't know, move a little. So obviously, we have very important elections coming up this Tuesday, so what better than to wear than the 2004 Voter Die campaign t-shirt? Now, Mariah in this picture, she's probably dressed better for the weather than you were on Monday because she's wearing t-shirt and shorts. And she went a little midriff, so maybe you can convince other people at the polls to vote for your candidate, that might be illegal. But I think this is a good way to show your spirit, make sure that people know that you are, you know, exercising your right while also being a little bit sexy about it um, and, you know, paying homage to everybody's favorite person. Probably only my favorite person, Mariah Carey. Uh, so definitely put your short shorts on if you're going to go vote. The correlation between the two, I don't know. What? But I would do it, so if you want to do it, we can do it together. <laughs> okay, so for me, on my Wednesday, that's when my classes start the latest. They start at 12.30, so I typically try to go out the night before. So I think this look from John Galliano, Fall Winter 2004 Mint, where it seems like something you would put on the next day after you came in, maybe a little bit, you know, beaten up from your He's Not Cup, or whatever it is that you're doing, again, no judgment. Now wait just one second, glasses. Uh, so, you know, he's got his chest out. It's like he pulled on this random coat off the floor. The garters, you know, it's a Wednesday. Maybe garters are a little bit too much. They do call it hump day, which you can read it too. But it just seems like something I would want to put on after a night out. Like maybe I'm actually still wearing the outfit that I wore when I went out. Um, and, you know, he's also sweaty and greasy, which to me, again, Signals the issue with the temperature. I don't know what's going on outside. If you wore this, you'd probably sweat. So the grease that's on his chest, built in. Perfect. All you really have to do is make sure you get up for your 1230 if you want to wear this. And still look put together and or attract some stares. What kind of attention you'd be getting? Up for debate. But definitely getting attention. It's Thursday now. For some people, this is the last day of the week that you have class. If you're Mijo, you know what I'm talking about. Other people, you probably do it Friday. But I'm Mijo, so I don't have Friday classes. So I try to really pull my best stops on a Thursday. So that's why this Louis Vuitton by Marc Jacobs Fall Winter 2006 look with this oversized fur hat and super beautiful bag is something I would wear. I mean, I don't know. Again, we're dealing with the temperature. Let's just suspend belief at this point. Here's what we will not do, because we've already done it before. At this point, just know you're going to be sweating if I style you. That's fine. <laughs> I think you'll, you'll be happy to know that I pulled this really great archive look for you. And I like it because of the textures and because of the drama of the hat. So depending upon how you spend your weekends, maybe you won't see those classmates again, but you want them to remember you from that week and not remember the silly thing that you said in class. This is a look from a high snobiety editorial. Obviously, this person is still living in, again, the climate situation that we're in because they have on a puffer and no shirt. It's all about balance. So if we're gonna be hot but also cold, this is what I do. It seems like he's also maybe got a little bit of a jock strap on for some breathability. <laughs> so all around, you'll be comfortable when your day starts and it's 40 degrees and then when it ends and it's 85. I also like this because of the colors, really bright, it's beautiful on his skin, so for someone like me, again, more attention, 
Good or bad, once again, up for debate. And his furry boots, I think we'd be okay. We only have leaves out right now. It hasn't really been raining, so they wouldn't get all matted down and nasty. And again, you know, just something that's a little bit, I mean, I guess I can say if we can curse or not. The, the boots are a little bit bitchy. Oh my God. I thought this was a classy party. And you know, sometimes it's okay to be bitchy. So a Friday's a good thing for that. And this is also an outfit that transitions from day to night, again, if you have no class. Wearing no shirt to class, wearing no shirt and then jeans that show your job strap to class, I don't, if you don't have class, I would go for this one. If you do, we'll have to readjust. So now it's Saturday, and Saturday I tend to run a lot of errands. So I would go really with this look right here. What you see primarily is this huge Dior saddlebag that Andre Leon Talley has in his lap. He also has the proper expression, may he rest in peace, of someone who's awake on a Saturday running errands. He looks tired. <laughs> um, but it's about the bag in this one for me. So anything you need to do, whether it's going to the overpriced Target on Franklin Street, you can put all of your items in this huge bag. And then it also transitions as, you know, an open spend the night back because I'm always spending my Saturday nights at my friend Olivia's place. Clap if you care. <laughs> clap, if you, clap if you care. I somehow end up there more often than my own bed. So again, I can like move over my, like whatever's in there, my Campbell's suit and have my t-shirt <laughs> ready to go if I use this big, huge bag. And it's furry. If you can't tell, I like fur. I don't know if the fur is real. I think it's real. I hope it's not. So now, after all these amazing looks, we're finally on Sunday, a day that's really great for relaxing and you know being really casual, nothing too too crazy. So I would go for this Prada look from this British Vogue editorial with all of these huge flowers at the top and the bottom of the dress as a hat and then the, the skirt of the dress. We want something fresh, and maybe it is fall, and maybe most of the flowers in this picture are out of season. Well... <laughs> <laughs> but it feels like Sunday, it's comforting, it'll smell really good, and it's, it's, it's effortless. Like, dragging a train of 10 pounds of flowers? It's a typical day. Why not Sunday? And also, kind of as a reminder to go outside and, you know, maybe let the bees do their thing with your flowers. So, I think this is perfect. I think you'll feel really refreshed if you wear this. And it'll be a reminder of all the fun times you had previously in the week. Give you a chance to reflect and say, okay, yes, I wore that lovely job strap on Friday when I had no class. So I go for this Prada look. Okay, well, I hope you guys enjoyed what I wore this week. You can take my advice or not. No thanks. I choose my own destiny. But those are just a few little pieces that I think, you know, you should consider. Some elements. So remember your fur. Remember your flowers. Remember no shirt. <laughs> and I think you'll have a great week. A fashionable week. Thanks so much, and I'll see you next week.